afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Hangout 311. I'm Pat Murray. I publish the Durham Skywriter, that's Durham's online community paper, which I invite you to check out at durhamskywriter.com. Now, with Bull City Hangout, I tell you what's happening today in Durham, and then I invite you to click on that link on Facebook, on the Facebook side, and then join me on camera, shoot the breeze, share information, etc. Boy, my microphone is really in the camera. Wow. Anyway, that's my mic. Please enjoy. It is a Blue Yeti, the standard uh, for uh, a lot of podcasters and people on YouTube. Anyway, so let me get started here. So I'm on the Word page, that is the nonprofit and government information page. I do like to start out by saying that the city of Durham and Durham County both have very helpful pros, um, like if you help with your heating bill, for example. If you've fallen behind in your water bill, for example, you can get help up to $240 worth of help. Also, they, they both have eviction diversion programs. And also, this isn't a government, the RSVP has a tax service. So if you make 55,000 or under, you, you can get your taxes done for free. So check out the word page, lots of really useful information and also American Red Cross classes. Okay, so let's see what's on the docket today. I do like to list the free workshops offered by the Durham Technical Community College's Small Business Center and other small business centers from around the state. So it is what, the 11th? So let's see what's on the docket. So today at three o'clock, this is, this sounds pretty wild. 337 ways to market for greater profits. And it's only from three until five. So that's really curious. Um, again, this is free. So sign up and definitely attend. If you're curious like I am, you might want to sign up for that one. Also today from six until eight, owning rental property as a small business owner. That sounds intriguing. That's another good one. Also today from 6.30 until 8.30, how and where to find grants. Also very important. And you don't have to be nonprofit to grant. I know from personal experience. Um, and then um, tomorrow at 11 in the morning, SBA, the Small Business um, Administration, is, speaks on PPP and other economic aid programs. And again, that is tomorrow. So sign up in advance and then definitely attend these really wonderful free workshops. Now, Go Durham and Go Triangle want you to know that they offer free shared rides from your house to your um, COVID-19 vaccination appointment. So this is a really cool service. Call them 24 hours in advance. So if you're going tomorrow afternoon, call them now and set up. Um, set it up so that they can pick you up at your house, take you to your vaccination appointment, and then back home. It's a wonderful service. And it's free. I don't know how they do it. Okay, and let's see. Let's go to uh, SCORE. That is the Service Corps of Retired Executives. They know everything there is to know about business. They have free men, free workshops, etc. So today, let's see. At 1 o'clock, ask the CPA 2021. Tax advice for your small business. It is tax time, so you might want to check that at 1 o'clock. It's free. Okay, let's go to the school tools page. The um, North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences continues with reptile and amphibian days. So this is going to be really fun. It's been going on since Monday and continues through Saturday evening. So today, with it being Thursday, um, right now they're having live feeding of venomous reptiles. Who doesn't want to miss that? It's going on right now until one o'clock. Also this afternoon, the window on animal health live, slimy versus scaly yoga, okay, why salamanders matter, and then science tonight, tortoise science. And then tomorrow morning, box turtle science, solving salamander mysteries with DNA, okay, and then make your own animals, reptiles, and amphibians. So it's not just for kids, but um, kids would love this. Again, it is reptile and amphibian days. It's all free and it's all online this year. All right, let's go to the health page. Of course, I have your COVID-19 vaccination information and test information, so check out the health page for that. Let's see where Optum Serve is today. They um, administer free 
COVID-19 tests throughout the city, actually throughout the state and the country. But today, let's see, they are at El Centro Hispano until six, drive through available. Also at McDougal Terrace, drive through available until 4.30 and Oxford Manor until 4.30. And then tomorrow morning, they will be at El Centro Hispano and Oldham Towers downtown. Oh, American Red Cross is having a blood drive that is happening today, in fact, right now, at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints until 445. You can make an appointment by clicking on the link on the health page. And then let's see, I think there's going to be one tomorrow. Oh, there's one going on right now, one. Um, uh, the Blood Connection has a blood drive at the University of Kia of Durham on Highway 15501. And then later today at Sam's Club, also on 15501, and that will be from 3 until 6. Okay, and to the health events page, that's where you click on the big blue health events button on the top of the health page, and that has the, um, the one-off events and also support groups. So let's see what's on the uh, schedule for today. Let's see, it is the 11th. So there is going to be a Duke Dementia Evening Caregivers Support Group. They're meeting this evening from 6.30 until 8. Really helpful. It's online and you can get tips on how to care for your loved one with Alzheimer's or dementia. I've attended their meetings and they're wonderful. Also, tomorrow morning at 8.30, Duke Health's Latin Dance Fitness Class. That sounds like fun. It's on Zoom and it's free. Also tomorrow at 11.30, Duke Health's Flow Yoga Fitness Class. Again, it's free, so why not? Okay, let's go to the garden shed and see what's happening. Um, it's really nice to hear the Triangle uh, Orchid Society again. They're having their Blooming Orchid Virtual Show and Tell. That will be this evening from 7.30 until 8.30. So with that on the garden shed and let's see, very quickly, let's go to Legal Lease. I think there's a couple of things happening with Legal Lease. Let's see, now today's Thursday, so I know they're, they're having a workshop. Yes, they're having a free workshop today, Employee Rights Webinar, 2.30 until 4. It's free, and then tomorrow, 11 until noon, Free Forum Friday, where they talk about what you want to talk about within reason, uh, in general terms. So read about that on the legal page. And now we're going to the Let's Go page, the calendar events page. Let's see what's on the docket for March 11th. Let's see. Bear with me while I scroll down. The Nehemiah Christian Center, they're giving away free lunches right now until 1 o'clock. They are on Mangum Street downtown. Also, um, let's see. Now, this is a big deal. The U.S. EPA Environmental Protection Agency, they're hosting a panel discussion. Um, this is a nationwide thing. It's on reuse models as part of a solution, plastic pollution crisis. Why am I mentioning this? I'm mentioning it because our very own Crystal Dreisbach from Don't Waste Drum, she's going to be a speaker and she's going to explain why reuse models, <clears throat> reuse models play such a huge role in solving the plastic pollution problems around the entire world. So this is a free event and it starts at one o'clock. You might wanna check that out. Also New Visions of Africa restaurant, they'll be distributing free meals, three until six. They're on Fayetteville Street right next door to WD Hill. I am so dry, wait just a second. I'm trying to hurry because I have a guest and her time is, her time is short, she's something scheduled. So let me hurry up. Desi L. Campbell, he has Let's Talk Genealogy from 6 until 6.30. It's online. Check that one out. Speaking of Don't Waste Durham, they're having a planning meeting this evening from 6 until 7, all about boomerang bags. That's a really fun event, a, a rather a fun service that they offer. Check it out. Read about it on the Let's Go page. Well, it's going to be a gigantic night for the arts. So the Durham Arts Council, the Chatham Arts Council, Orange County Arts Council, Orange County Arts Commission, the United Arts Council of Raleigh and Wake County, and WRAL-TV. They're co-hosting Big Night In for the Arts. It's gigantic. It's a huge concert event starting at 6.30. I'll just name the artists. 
Ariana DuBose. She's a Raleigh native. She's going to be starting as Anita in Steven Spielberg's upcoming film, West Side Story. How about that? Mandolin Orange, folk music duo. Branford Marsalis, um, Marcellus, jazz saxophonist. Uh, Mike Wiley, he's an actor and playwright. And Scotty McCreary, I remember when he won that, uh, that um, he's a country singer. I forget what show he was on, but I remember him. So that's a free event, but I think it's also a fundraiser. So be sure to check that out at 6.30. It's going to be absolutely huge. Okay, what else is on the docket? Um, let's see. Uh, I told you about Free Friday. Now, tomorrow, if you are in need, there's going to be the Fed Up Political Food Distribution uh, Grocery Giveaway by Raise Up the North Carolina Poor People's Campaign and Carolina Jews for Just. It's going to be um, at the Lakewood Shopping Center from 11 until one. Just pop open the trunk or your back door and they will slide in uh, food boxes of non-perishables and fresh produce. I think that's pretty much it. The weather is 70 degrees and sunny, absolute perfection. Going up to 73, sunny all day. And then tomorrow, 73 again and partly sunny. So let us bring on Shamika McNeil. She's with Slice 325. She's waiting in the wings and let's see what's new. Shamika, what's new? Um, Garden talk, since we haven't, um this really nice weather we're trying to take full advantage of it okay How about what you want? well um, um actually speaking of speaking of gardening i want to do some gardening this year mm -hmm. you, you should i really enjoy it that's my stress reliever to get away oh. from the world is to go dig in dirt and play with worms <laughs> <laughs> so I'm scared of worms, but yes. so what, what are you planting this year? Um, we we well right now we're um getting ready to add to what we already have. We are planting turmeric, chives, basil, um parsley, um chocolate mint, regular mint, and Ooh. um what was that other one? Sage. What we that's what one part of the garden that we have so far. And then on the other side, we have radishes. Um, we're getting ready to put some um, lettuce strips in the ground Saturday and okay. some beans that we're waiting to get sprouted. And then we have some other stuff coming soon. We're going to try to have okay. a kind of diverse garden in the city. So as far as the beans, are you going to have beans at all um, ready at the same time or the vine type? Um, we're going to have a little bit of both. I'm okay. going home, I think this weekend, to see if I can find some purple hole peas, because <laughs> those are kind of hard to find, and a lot of people like those. But um, purple we have like peas, purple hole peas. That's what you call them, because they have like a purple hole, but it tastes really, really good. Um, and they're really hard to find because people people buy them up and then freeze them. So we have I have two um um places that I normally go when I go back home that's um, mom and pop's owned and they usually have all the seeds. They, it's, they, it's been in their family, right? Family for generations. And home for you is South Carolina? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Wow. I don't really know what I'm going to grow. I, I do have some specialty um, tomato seeds mm -hmm. and especially, I forget the name, but they're like heirloom, really cool kind of tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, I used to grow asparagus. I might do that again. And mm -hmm. I love growing gold raspberries. The golden ones are sweeter than the purple ones. Really? I've never and had those before. Here's the thing. If you throw them, you probably haven't had them. Because the problem with the golden mm -hmm. raspberries is that as soon as you touch them, they crumble. So they don't so they don't you don't see them in the store because nobody wants crumbled up raspberries. Oh but okay. girl grew them, it's like candy. They are so good. I recommend them. 
That's the only kind of raspberries I ever grow. Because once you once you try the golden ones, the red ones just won't do. Or purple, <laughs> whatever. Got to have the gold. We're talking some good eating. If you have a sweet tooth, uh -huh. mm -hmm. I think I might do some yellow squash because I love squash and onions. Uh -huh. I've always liked squash and onions. You know what I can't find? You know what I can't find, what? Shamika? I cannot find walking onions. Have you heard of those? Walking who? Onions. Walking onions. Um, there's a nursery in Raleigh, not up from not too far from me. I'm going to write that down, walking onions. If you ask him, he can probably find anything you want. Okay, because I haven't seen them since I, since Chicago, since I moved here. Because some people call them Egyptian onions. What's really, I'll tell you what's so cool about them. So you plant the onion like you usually do, and then it grows, you know, the green stalk. And uh -huh. then at the top, it has a cute little onion on top, which you can uh -huh. eat if you want. But if you don't eat it, here's what happens. It gets heavier, and then it falls over. And then it sprouts, and then it sprouts. And then you get another plant. So that's why they call it walking, because if you let the top of the onion fall, then it continues to fall across your yard. And before you know, you have a yard full of onions. It's wonderful. That's, that's pretty cool. It's real cool. So like I said, some people call them Egyptian. I don't know, I don't know what they're supposed to be called. Some people back home call them walking onions. Some call them Egyptian onions. I don't know. I'll, I'll put both of them down and I'll check for you because um, I'm probably going to go talk to him next week and um, I'll ask him Please about it. Do. They can. And then the green part, um, the stalk, uh, mm -hmm. the, the stalk you can substitute for for chives mm -hmm. because okay. they're, they're where's, where's the scallion? I get them confused. Whatever is the mild onion taste, I can't remember. Is that well, you both of them kind of have a well, to me, they, but you know about like something that you put on maybe like a baked potato. Those are chives. Okay, but the stalk so you can cut it up, and 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 it's like a mild onion taste, and you could just chew it. It's so good. You can just chew it. Okay, making me hungry. Now you have a special event going on Saturday, right? At Care Healing yes. Care. Broadway, mm -hmm. we do. We have another garden cleanup. Um, if you come by and check us out, it looks totally different than it did before. You can actually see stuff now, and we have mm -hmm. a section all pretty good. So, we're asking people if you want to come by and volunteer, you can. Um, today, I'm supposed to be getting in touch with a lady because for, for you all giving back your time, we're trying to give. A thank you. So we're going to um, see if we could get some gift certificates for a beer at one of the breweries downtown. So after you okay. leave the garden, since you like helped us, after you leave the garden, you'll get a gift certificate for a beer. So we want to only have like a certain number. It's not going to be a really high number because of COVID. Maybe about mm -hmm. ten or fifteen gift certificates to get some people out to help. And if you um, help or whatnot, you get a certificate. I mean, a gift okay, card, excuse me, for a beer. For, um, for non-drinkers, non um, non maybe it was like Jamba Juice or something? Non-drinkers, I think it was going to be tea or some juice something. Okay. But, um, My garden partner, Shauna, and I have to say she's the best garden partner anybody could have. The mm -hmm. best <laughs> garden partner anybody could have. Um, I think that she um, sent me a text message that asked me about teas and things like that because she said, well, what about non-beer drinkers? And I'm like, yeah, right. you know, I, I thought it was a, a, gar a, a, a what is it, a, some type of sandwich shop by Boxcar, but she said it was something else, somewhere else that do that. So she's going to check on that for mm. me, non okay. um, Beer okay. drinkers. So hopefully, we'll have some gift certificates. Um, it's not going to be like a whole bunch, but just enough to get some type of beverage somewhere downtown for helping us. Yeah, if this to show your appreciation. Oh, why don't you tell us um, what your your nonprofit does? Slice three twenty five. Um, Slice three twenty five is means for um, serving locations, inviting culinary education three hundred and twenty five days out of the year. The reason why it's not three sixty five is because we took off forty days for mental health. So <laughs> it's 325. And um, we just teach people about the diversity of foods 
Um, we give people a choice. So if you're on a diet and you just don't really like what the nutritionist gave you or whatever, you can come to us and then we can find different alternatives that's kind of in the same area of what you don't like. So if you don't like this type of onion, we know this type of onion. If you don't like this type of vegetable, we can say, hey, try this type of vegetable. I personally do not like parsley, so I might use something else, but it serves the same okay. purpose. So normally when you have choices, you do better on your diets. And we're not like telling yeah. you, you have to eat healthy seven days a week. Sometimes people have to go into it slowly. So we say, hey, if you did good Monday through Friday, Saturday, eat the cookie and the cake. Sunday, reset yourself. And then Monday, you can start all over again. It's kind of the, like the same concept if you're going to the gym, because I really hate going to the gym. I like I could well, I will walk from here to China instead of going to the gym. <laughs> but, I go, but I go. Yeah, I walk a lot. But I go. And then if I have my a.k.a. Renna kids, nieces and nephews, I um, play mm -hmm. with them and that do a lot of um, exercise. Mm -hmm. And just by working in the garden, it goes by fast. And then the next morning, I'm so sore because some weeds are really stubborn. You have rocks. Know, you have right? Yeah, there's some tilling that you do. So I, mm -hmm. I posted a, a clip on my face, a picture on my Facebook that shows garden tools that's good for like your biceps, triceps, your legs, and things like that. Oh, okay. If you don't necessarily want to go to the gym like me, so I use the garden project as my gym and I'm picking up pallets. And <laughs> that's <laughs> clever. I want to find that, and I'd like to ask permission to put that in the Durham Skywriter. I'll send it to you. It's on my okay, slides page. Do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, you're not going to believe you're not going to believe what I'm sitting on right now. Speaking of um, health and wellness, a ball. I am I am sitting on my new riding bicycle. I have a stationary oh. bike okay. with a desk attached. Oh. So, so my laptop is sitting on the desk. So while I'm I'm not I'm not cycling right now because I don't want the picture to wobble. Uh -huh. But while I work all day, I'm cycling. That's pretty How cool. That? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. So yeah, so yesterday I cycled, I think, miles. Mm -hmm. I think the most I mean, I've cycled in one day was like 18. Okay. So, I yeah, so you can check to ride around should. the neighborhood and stuff like that. It, well, the stationary it gives you the the speed, the time, distance, calories, uh -huh. odometer. I, I don't. I don't know. I they, I don't know. I need to look at the instructions. I only care about the distance because I like to brag to my uh -huh. sister. I rode five miles today for ten or whatever. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But I love it because I could never find time to walk. Mm -hmm. And then I feel bad, you know? So now I can do my work, which I love, and then uh -huh. bike at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's the best of I both worlds. I think that's a good concept. That's, that's how I feel. And then I get to the point where I try to, I get up really early in the morning so I can finish all of my work and hopefully answer all of my emails so I could go to the garden and work out. And exactly. I'm going to tell you, for those who never pulled weeds, that's a workout. A workout it really is. For your arms, even, your back, and everything. Even if you're sitting down. Because mm -hmm. I've tried it sitting down, but even that's strenuous. Yes. Of course, if you saw my backyard, you would be like, whoa. Because what happened was, I let my Yard go back to nature, uh -huh. because you know I was just so busy, and now I'm trying to reclaim it. Uh -huh. It is not easy to reclaim a garden once it's gone wild. No, because oh that's what we had to do. It's not like last week was like the first time we actually stepped back and was like, "Wow, we did a lot of work." Because when you're doing it all the time, you're just like, "Okay, I got this finished, and I got that finished." Mm -hmm. and don't like sit back and just look. It was like, man, you can see everything now before you well, could. Well, give me a tip on how to clear bad weeds. Yeah, just give me a tip. I bought this hoe, and it's not like an old fashioned hoe, but it's a hoe part on one side, and then on the other side, it has 
like a like a fork kind of. That has been my favorite. I have one of those. Thing. That has been my favorite tool to help because with the regular hoe, is you just holding up. But for some reason, when you take, I, I don't know the name of it. I saw it in the Ace Hardware, not Ace Hardware, Town and Country. That was like this might mm -hmm. could be helpful. That is my favorite, favorite, favorite tool because when you put it in the ground and you pull them back, it kind of tills it over. And then if you have right. some roots, it hooks to them. So while you okay. pull it, it's pulling the roots too. Um, I'll okay, send you a picture right there. Okay, thank you. Please do, room. because I have a lightweight version, which I don't think, uh, I think I need to get a heavy duty version. Uh, yeah. But I know what you mean, because I do have something like that. Um, that but is yeah, absolute um, faith. I used to try with a shovel to turn over the dirt and this, that, and that, until I got that one look. That was the best $22 that I spent in most of my garden equipment. <laughs> Yes. You know what? I was surprised that I had to buy. I never used this when I was at home in Chicago. In Chicago, I had some pretty tough dirt. Uh -huh. But I really knew what clay soil was all about until I moved down here. Mm -hmm. And I would call myself digging a hole and I would be bouncing off the, you know, with the shovel, bouncing off the dirt and realized I had to get a pickaxe. Uh-huh. To get into that dirt for real, this soil does not play down here. Uh huh. Yeah, but so, this but we've been lucky soil. to have some pretty good soil down there that we keep turning over and keep putting nutrients and stuff in it. So once you get the weeds out, it it just crumbles. It's it's lovely. Oh, good. Okay. Well, hopefully mine will be like that one day. Now, where you're from in South Carolina, I can imagine if you're from the coast. That you're used to nice sandy, um, it's good, a well both. It's, right? it's according to where you are. It's a mixture of both because we have clay, we have sand, and then we have pretty good oh. dirt too. So okay. it's, it's like down there, like North Carolina weather. We got a little bit of both <laughs> in one place. It's according okay. how far you are. Hey, though, I love those palm trees. Whatever you call those trees, because mm -hmm. I only went to South Carolina once. And it's like it's, only, it's, it's, not it's like as soon as, you, as soon as you cross over in South Carolina, then you see palm trees all of a sudden. Yeah, are the they restricted? So, the air are is they so restricted to South Carolina? Mm -mm, you can buy one and bring them up here. I've seen palm trees in people yards in Durham and Raleigh. Okay, I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah. Okay, but let me know. Because I, I know you have an appointment um, at 1230, so I need to let you go. But um, let me know if you find out about that um, walking onion or Egyptian onion. Oh, let well. me know. Because okay. I would buy hard beef if I can get my hands on them. They're so okay. fun to grow. I, I will let you know. But um, if anybody wants to volunteer, they can come to the care building um, in downtown Durham. It's called Healing with Care. We'll be there from 1030 to 330. And um, you can just walk behind there and we'll be back there. I might get some balloons to put in the front so people will know where to go because the front kind of looks like nobody's there, but we're down in the back. And I will post it in the Durham Skyrider on the Let's Go page as well. All righty. Well, thank you for having me. And it was fun chatting yeah. with you, like, as always. Yeah, as all, and I, I want to tell you, I found out that the Balloon Festival is coming, I think, to Morrisville or something like that in May. Ooh, I got to go to that. When I get oh more information, I, I'll give it to you. Please. That would be awesome. And also, congratulations on your super cool specs. Love those glasses. Oh. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I'll chat with you later. You all have a good okay. one. Okay, take care. Always fun to hang out with Shamika. Always fun. So, yes, I will put that in the, um, that for Saturday, I'll put that in the Durham Skyrider, um, the garden cleanup. So, I think that's pretty much it. It is 70s. It's going up to 73. It's going to be sunny all day. And then tomorrow is going to be 73 again and partly sunny. Let me see what it's going to be for the weekend because I think it's going to be in the 60s. Not that I'm complaining. But let's see. So, Saturday, 64, Sunday, 63, and cloudy. 
There might be a bit of rain, just a little bit. I still can't complain because, hey, complain. I mean, it's perfect weather. Anyway, you have a beautiful afternoon, beautiful evening, and I will see you tomorrow for Bull City Hangout at noon. If you'd like to find me, do what Shamika did and just click on that link and hop in and tell everybody hello. So I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao for now.